Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so yeah, this will be a fairly short video, but basically, uh, proof another problem, which is MP complete. And I, I have already done a, a proof. Uh, many problems are MP complete, and I have collected them into a video list. So if you are interested in, uh, pro proving something's MP complete, then you can check out my list. Uh, also by the way, hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so this is basically showing the longest. Uh, past problem is MP complete. So actually, proof this is very simple. You just know uh where to uh what what's the problem that you are going to reduction to, and uh your reduction from. Okay. But basically, once you know the problem that you are going to reduction, then the proof will just uh write down the definition, and the ones who check the definition is correct, and the rest is simple. So longest past problem. So given a G, where is a V and E. Okay, so vertex and edge, and uh, take k to be a uh, positive integer. And uh, so longest pass problem, basically, let's call it LP. Right? LP basically ask. So it's a deterministic question, right? Deterministic language. Uh, ask uh, where uh, there is a, a whether, uh, whether there is a pass. Uh, or pass of length k. Basically, the pass is a simple pass. Okay, so the simple pass means that the edge, the edges are uh, distinct. Okay, so basically you cannot like, you cannot repeat the edges. Okay, so edge just distinct. A simple pass of let's k uh, in G. Okay, so output yes. So basically the problem output yes. Uh, or output one if it has. Otherwise, that you just outputs uh zero. Okay, so the theorem basically say that this LP is MP complete. Okay, so uh, in order to the standard like problem problem, uh. The standard like strategy, right? Usually, you you first need to show that the LP is uh, in MP. Okay, and uh, this is easy, uh, because you just need to check, uh, check uh pass uh such pass exists, that pass exists. Uh, if someone give you the pass, uh, if someone just uh gave you the gave you a pass, right? So if someone just gave you a pass, then you can just check whether there's this is a simple pass. Because you can you can just determine uh whether these edges are unique, right? So you can basically check whether this is a valid pass. You can check oh this ver these two vertices actually there is a pass connected it, so it's in polynomial time, right? It's in uh polynomial time. Uh obviously, right? Because you both have polynomial edges and the polynomial vertices. Okay. And uh, so our goal is to showing that uh, LP is MP hard. Okay, so my claim is the following, right? We we want to say something. We want to say that uh, uh, Hamiltonian pass, Hamiltonian pass, is basically uh reduced to LP. Okay, so basically this means that if you can solve, uh. So basically, this means that if someone gives you a problem, you ask about Hamiltonian pass, then you can make the reduction and become another instance of longest pass. And if that instance says yes, then there is Hamiltonian pass. If there is no, then there is no Hamiltonian pass. Okay, so this is the standard reduction. Okay, so uh, uh, this looks simple, but ideally is that let's write down the definition of this Hamiltonian pass. Okay, so uh, Hamiltonian pass basically is the uh, given the uh, G, which is a vertices in H, and you are asking about like uh, Hamiltonian pass. Basically, it's a pass which connects all the vertices, uh, without repeating. Okay, so there is a pass, there's a pass, the tra uh, connecting uh, or basically travel or visit all the vertices without uh, repeating the verses. 
repeating uh, vertices. Uh, I guess basically you can like, try to do this kind of thing. Uh, this is stupid, stupid example, but basically this is. I mean, there you you can create you can say that oh there's a path from. So this is Hamiltonian path because this path right you can see here, 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 here. If it is one, two, three, four vertices, right? But without repeating, we I visit all the vertices but without repeating the vertices. Vertices. Okay. Uh, so now uh, the claim is simple, right? Hopefully you can see why. So given uh, so proof, basically saying uh, the reduction. So given a uh, graph G, B, E, e. and ask about uh, this Hamiltonian problem, right? So we can ask about, uh, we can ask, oh, change this to the longest path instance, right? So we we'll create another graph G, which is exactly the same, but with the, the longest uh pass instance, right? So we need to assign K. Okay, so how do you assign K? Obviously that if there is a, a pass connecting over this is without repeating, then since it without re uh, without repeating the vertices, right? So length of edge must be the number of vertices minus one. Okay. So K will just be V minus one. Okay, and uh because uh, if we visit in all the vertices, the length of the edges must be b minus one, and then you can see by definition, right? If there exists, if there exists such path, that means that there is a there is a path, right, connecting all the vertices, visits all the vertices, and the length is k minus one. The length is v minus one, so it must visit all the vertices. If there is a length, or if there is a length of path, is then uh then say v v minus one and edges is not repeating. Then it must then it must visit all the uh all the vertices. Okay. And obviously that uh if give if there's a Hamiltonian path here, right, then if 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 no if no such uh sorry if no such path exists, then there's no way there's a Hamiltonian path, right? Because the Hamiltonian path must be a path which is k minus one length. Uh, sorry, it must be a v minus one length, and uh, uh, it must be a v minus one length, right? Because it it, it connecting all vertices without repeating the vertices, so it must have the length at least, okay, v minus one. Okay. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a proof, and uh, that's it.